Good evening. My name is Special Agent Daniels. Besides me, Special Agent Smith. Please state your name for the record. St. Nicholas Christopher Kringle Claus Jr. Tell me about it. Well, my mother was Greek. My father was Dutch. I was born in Patara, modern-day Turkey. Claus is actually a, a Dutch nickname. Uh, I turned it into my last name. Okay, great. Listen. At 0400 hours, you were spotted flying an unidentified flying object on U.S. soil. Why? I do that every year, delivering presents to the people of- You do that every year? Oh. So, your, your, your vehicle, this sleigh, how, how does it work? By flying lane did, of course. Huh. Are you aware, Mr. Claus, that your reindeer has a medical condition that forces its nose to illuminate red? It is not a medical condition. Rudolph was born with that shiny red nose. But you do use the uh, non-medical condition as your advantage, right? Is it Turkey Communist? What, what about this list of names labeled naughty? Well, those naughty children get something naughty for their bad behavior. And what naughty then do they receive? Why, a piece of gold! So, are there nice kids? Well, of course. They get what they wish for. You're either an offender or a communist spy. Add espionage to the charges, were you, Smith? A spy? Correct. A threat to the United States of America. You caught the attention of the FBI and the Pentagon in just a few hours. Don't try to crap talk your way out of this one. Oh, what language? I'm sure little Ellie and Jason wouldn't like you speaking like that. Uh, Ellie and Jason? Those are my kids. How do you know the names of my kids? Damn, sit down. How do you know the names of my kids, you son Excuse me. Heard a lot of yelling in this room. Is my client okay? If I were you, I'd drop this case. And if I were you, I would keep your hands off my client before you, you lose that cute little badge of yours. Where'd you get it? Toys R Us? Now, if you excuse me, I would like confidentiality with my client, please, and thank you. Hey, Nick. They didn't rough you up too bad, did they? Oh, I I'll live. They ask me questions about what I do and where I come from. I'm sweated. Good cop, bad cop, or actually, dumb cop. Dumb cop. Sorry, let me choose this myself. My name is Jacob Marley. Jacob and I go way back. If there's anyone helping me represent you, it's him. Listen, Mr. Claus, you can't afford any more missteps. Those FBI agents will do anything and everything to put you in a federal prison. Hell, it seems like they're already started. So remember when we talked about North Pole registration? Just have a contact over there. Maybe one of your elves, Mrs. Claus. Have them whip up registration forms for you and boom. Isn't faking those forms illegal? Not if the North Pole has no laws. You know, technically it's governed by the law of the sea. It's a sort of new UN treaty. No one owns the North Pole officially, but they own the waters around it. Oh, they also asked me about my naughty and nice lists. Your list with a bunch of kids' names on it. That's a tough one. Letters. Do you get letters, don't you? Quite a few, actually. That's what I get the names from. Great. We can cross up illegal surveillance. See, I told you we'd be fine. Knocking these charges down like pins and bowling. Now, do you still give kids rocks of coal for being bad? Because, you know, I could be a charge too. Is that Houndsley? You three, you're done. I feel like I know that voice. Ah, 
I didn't know this was a freak Bureau of Investigation. I don't have time for that, Ugly. This is just like you, representing damn Santa Claus. Oh, don't start. Don't tell me you're trying to put him away. This might be your worst case yet. Unlike you, I actually get my work done. I can't believe they let you into my law school, let alone pass the bar. Best years of my life right there. Oh, by the way, I was allowed in and passed the bar due to my work ethic. Which is literally down the drain. What I remember is you fooling around like you clearly are now. And with Marley too, ta. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're the same egg-headed idiot like you were 10 years ago. You're pathetic. Hey! St. James, we got what we needed out of that investigation. Now let's get those opening statements in order. We could use a brain like yours. So we have home invasion, animal cruelty, flying in restricted airspaces, using unregistered vehicles, destruction of property, antitrust violations. We could add product liability on there too. St. James, don't get distracted. <laughs> what do you mean by that, sir? You I know exactly what I mean by that. Don't let old troubles keep you from putting this fat Turk in a jumpsuit. You don't have to worry about a thing, Mr. Waldron. I know my strategy, I know my opponent. And thanks to those two knuckleheads, I have confessions. Good. The last thing I need for you is to get too attached to this case. We start with the home invasion and the destruction of property for the preliminary. Can you handle it? Oh, trust me. I can. Michael, I strongly advise that Miss James, I mean James, not become a distraction. Come on, Jacob. Michael, I'm serious. If you get too close, the judge will throw you out. You're right. Thanks. All right, now look, I already got a strategy for the preliminary. Your Honor, we request for a DNA sample to compare hairs found at the scene of the crime. Excuse me, Your Honor. We have concerns, grave concerns about this request. We ask that the court limit the sampling of the hair to how much is required. Miss James, how many DNA samples do the people need? Well, Your Honor, a typical hair sample takes hairs from each area of the head and beard. Five to ten hairs per area, totaling about 100 hairs. 100 hairs? It's not an alien request, Your Honor. It's only as many as a criminalist need to compare hair from the defendant to the hairs found at the crime scene. This seems incredibly invasive, Your Honor. We offer one singular hair. One hair? Just a second, Miss James. Excuse me for speaking out, Your Honor, but this objection seems like a complete waste of time. They seem to be on some sort of expedition for hair at my client's expense. This is routine, 70 hairs. Five. 50. Judge, Your Honor, we're getting over with this. The defense requests a special hearing on the hair. So ordered. I call for the hearing regarding the collection of St. Nicholas's hair. Thank you, Your Honor. 